אוקיי, עכשיו. מה אתה אומר? בן גביר הולך לעשות פה סדר במקום הזה. איך סדר? הולך סדר, לעשות סדר בכל האזור הזה. איך? זהו, אין מה לעשות. איך הוא יעשה? זהו. כן, אכלתם אותה. זהו. נגמר עם כל מה שאתה עושה פה, כל הבית זונות שאתה הולך לעשות פה. מה אני עושה? נגמר. אני עושה משהו נגד החוק? אתה עושה הכל נגד החוק. אני קובע מה החוק ואתה עושה פה נגד החוק. לך אחורה. I think we have to have a conversation about whether we can continue to fund uh, law enforcement in states where they are refusing to implement these gun laws. I'll talk to my colleagues about what our approach should be to this problem, but 60% of counties in this country are refusing to implement the nation's gun laws. We've got to do something about that. You heard Dr. Fauci. The administration is launching a new campaign urging people to get those flu shots, get those COVID boosters. But I think only about... 11% have gotten the booster so far, maybe 42 million the flu shot. We've talked about this so many times. People aren't listening. What do you think? What are the statistical odds of repeated references to pedophilia being included in multiple advertisement campaigns for one particular brand? Basically, completely impossible. This is very, very purposeful, and they've done it because they're trying to give you hints and trying to normalize and show you and tell you what they do. They're doing this because of karmic retribution. Satanists believe if they tell you what they're doing, if they make their intentions clear and you still adhere to them, that they are no longer responsible for the negative consequences of them. That is karmic retribution. I'll give an example. If I have a stall of poisoned apples and I put up a sign that says apples and you buy one, I've poisoned you. But if I have a stall of poisoned apples and I put up a sign that says poisoned apples and you buy one, now you've committed suicide. I have not poisoned you, you have committed suicide. If you know what I am doing, if you know what I am selling, and you still comply and adhere, you are basically saying that all the consequences are erased. That's how karmic retribution works in the satanic world. They are making it extremely clear to you, on purpose, little by little, trying to show the world they are pedophilic, because that way they will not be punished in the eyes of their God for their crimes. This is not just strange, unusual, some kind of coincidence, no. This is elites telling you that they are absolutely and utterly pedophiles and they are here to see if you are complicit in the actions themselves. Now that you understand that, the question is, what are you really gonna do about it? Boycotting Ben Salanciaga is a fantastic start, sure, but it's the- Last breaths are sacred. When I imagine my final days, I see bubbles. I see the ocean. I see music. Even now, as I seek help to end my life, there is still so much beauty. You just have to be brave enough to see it. There are, there are state boards, the boards that like the, yeah. like the state board of New York, the state board of medicine, New yeah. York, they have the power to issue licenses and to take away licenses. They right. are a member of this Federation of State Medical Boards. So if the Federation decides you can't say anything good about ivermectin or you can't say anything yeah. bad about the COVID jab, then you go under scrutiny. But it's worse because yeah. that now with the IMRA, IMRA It goes worldwide, and I'm a living example of that, Majid, okay? S sorry, for the, 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 this second example, the acronym there, please unpack the acronym, this second organization you've just met. Yeah, the International Association of Medical Regulatory Agencies. Right, sounds fancy. It's their international arm yep. that was created in 1994 to do all around the world what they've been doing in the United, in the United States. So the structure that you've just explained... 
Now I'm beginning to see the picture. So these official state regulatory boards that are government, yeah. they have in each state, say New York again, back to our example, they have voluntarily decided to come under the federation on a federal level, and they take guidance from this federation of uh, uh, regulatory boards. And the federation itself is not a state or government or federal entity; it's a private body. That's exactly right. And then that federation, that this private body that has all these government, state regulatory bodies sitting underneath it, thinking that they're responding uh, to a on a federal level to something that has more authority than they do, that federation you're saying has also created an international version of the same thing, where countries, entire countries, think they're under some form of official entity when it's in, even its international version is a private entity. Exactly, like the Medical Council of New Zealand. Okay. Wow. Who's CEO is the chair elect of the IAMRA. This is the Balenciaga store. Look how nice it is at North Park Mall. This is the nicest stuff. So I gotta ask you, what do you think about the Instagram stuff? Do you think the sexual the sexual exploitation of children oh. is artistic? It's pretty bad. Did you see they deleted all the stuff? Yes. Yeah, this is one second. But that's pretty bad. They did all that. They had those children in there and in the Supreme Court novel yes. talking about making sexual I, exploitation okay. It's uh, a no comment situation. So you're, do you, are you okay working for a company that does that? Are you ashamed? I said no comment and I prefer not to be reported. Wow. So what do you guys think about the exploitation? Do you guys think it's artistic, the sexual exploitation of children? I know, but what do you think about that? You know, you think that you know, you think that's okay? See, these people are cowards. They literally exploit children. They think it's artistic. It's disgusting. This is Balenciaga. They literally have children that they exploit, and they just sit here, no comment. You know, you saw that. Why'd y'all delete the Instagram? They deleted the Instagram because they're disgusting. So this is Balenciaga. If you guys think the sexual exploitation of children is okay, come shop here, right here, Balenciaga, right here. Disgusting. tax dollars of people who are listening are paying to put children in the hands of criminals. I said, I need to make you aware. And they said, Tara, we don't get sued by traffickers. A government whistleblower has stepped forward to Project Veritas to detail her harrowing experience at the Department of Health and Human Services. In 2021, this whistleblower volunteered to assist HHS with the placement of unaccompanied minors and was deployed to the Migrant Emergency Intake Site in Pomona, California. There, she witnessed the agency failing these children, as she puts it, doing the work of the cartels on your tax dollars. These vulnerable children, we care for them, we clothe them, we feed them. With your dollars and my dollars, we fly that product directly to the trafficker. God forbid it's sex trafficking. Project Veritas embarked on a nine-month investigation across the country to corroborate our whistleblower's claims. So he attempted to traffic children, and he's still at address in Texas. Yes. We have 44 unaccompanied children at that address. We have 25 unaccompanied children at that address. Project Veritas put boots on the ground, visiting scores of addresses the whistleblower shared from case files she worked on. What we found was shocking. ¿Quién te patrocinó? Una tía, pero me corrió en la casa. Ella me ofrecía, ya que no me gustaba eso. ¿Te ofrecía qué? Me ofrecía con los hombres. Pues. Pero ella, ¿cuántos hombres ella te obligó a estar con cuántos hombres? Bueno, con muchos, yo ni puedo. Porque no me gustaba lo que me hacía, me obligaba. ¿Ella de verdad fue, era tu tía o fue alguien que se... Dice que ella me conocía desde chiquita, pero yo no la conocía. The sponsor can hold up that order of deportation to that child and say, if you do not do what I say, I'm going to call ICE on you myself. Ella me ayudó, nada más que yo me escapé y en la noche ella llamó la migración. I don't believe that... This is something that HHS wants people to know. If you're a case manager and you know this information, if you really care about the children being safe, you need to come forward.
Russia's invasion of Ukraine has brought death, devastation and unspeakable suffering. We all remember the horrors of Butcher. It is estimated that more than 20,000 civilians and more than 100,000 Ukrainian military officers have been killed so far. Russia must pay for its horrific crimes, including for its crime of aggression against a sovereign state. And this is why, while continuing to support the International Criminal Court, we are proposing to set up a specialized court backed by the United Nations to investigate and prosecute Russia's crime of aggression. We are ready to start working with the international community to get the broadest international support possible for this specialized court. Russia must also pay financially for the devastation that it caused. The damage suffered by Ukraine is estimated at 600 billion euros. Russia and its oligarchs have to compensate Ukraine for the damage and cover the costs for rebuilding the country. And we have the means to make Russia pay. We have blocked 300 billion euros of the Russian central bank reserves, and we have frozen 19 billion euros of Russian oligarchs money in the short term, we could create with our partners a structure to manage these funds and invest them. We would then use the proceeds for Ukraine. And once the sanctions are lifted, these funds should be used so that Russia pays full compensation for the damages caused to Ukraine. We will work on an international agreement with our partners to make this possible and together we can find legal ways to get to it. Russia's horrific crimes will not go unpunished. On behalf of everybody here and on behalf of the public, I want to thank you for engaging in it at a time in truth when I know you've been advised not to. So thank you so very, very much. Um, thank you. Sam Bankman Freed, everybody. Canada, as you know, has a very, very large uh, Chinese Canadian community, and we have had long, long ties uh, uh, across the Pacific to China and other countries. And it means uh, we're watching very, very closely. Uh, obviously, it's really important uh, that citizens uh, be able to make themselves heard, uh, that they're protesting, yes, on, on uh, uh, a specific issue that touches on so many others of uh, government control of authoritarian states. Um, we, of course, stand with uh, those protesters uh, where we know how important it is uh, for people to express themselves, uh, for journalists to be able to do their jobs. And we're going to continue to consistently uh, stand up for human rights and, uh, and the things that uh, uh, people in China and people all around the world are continuing to fight for. I don't know if you saw it yesterday, but
But um, because they talk to us like children and they want you to associate uh, Elon Musk with like a classmate or a peer, uh, yesterday's presentation, Jay, was show and tell. Welcome to show and tell. And it's no big deal. That's, those are actual brain patterns. And it was the next phase of Neuralink and where they've come. And um, obviously it was very curated, but it's not only pushing the idea that we're gonna have these human brain interfaces, but that they are going to be very easily upgradable so that if you get the first generation, you can still get the 14th generation and not have to worry about it too much. Uh, it's becoming more and more apparent that there's actually going to be planned obsolescence built into these brain chips, which is, you know, frightening in of itself. And, of course, uh, they play up the angle of being able to make the blind see again and the paralyzed walk. And they were showing the integration of not only the human brain interface, but now pigs that had two of these devices, one that was uh, actually intertwined with their spinal cord and nerve system, there in order to make their hind legs move. So Jay Dyer, Jay's analysis, thanks for joining me in this long-winded intro. Did you see the musker nuts? Yes, I did. Um, it, rem it reminded me of the uh, the book that I read uh, not too long ago from John C. Lilly, the crazy dolphin guy who, I mean, he had a, had a sexual thing for dolphins and he's one of the mk ultra doctors who um was one of the pioneers of putting these into animals and so all of this comes out of mk ultra research it comes out of mind control and he pioneered this <clears throat> uh, originally with monkeys he started with uh, putting them into monkeys back in the 50s and 60s and this is all with a bunch of naval money navy gave him all kinds of money to figure out uh the best way to to mind control and so <clears throat> from the 1950s to 60s to now, we have, you know, upgraded this to where you can now look up to the internet. And uh, to me, it's just um, baffling that anybody would want to do this. I can't fathom um, at all championing this or cheering this on. I think it's crazy uh, because it's literally out of mind control. It's, it's directly out of the, the MK Ultra Pro. If you need a single location to get cutting edge information and keep up with the rapidly changing world around us, tune into Grand Theft World, where a forensic historian and a logic professor break down the week's news in depth and in context. There's a ton more there, so go check it out. And don't forget to get your Freedom Vault on the homepage.